Well, good day everyone and uh, welcome to my uh, vlog journal session. Uh, previously, I was unable to uh, take a tour on the hospital room here in our ship because it was locked. Now, uh, after several days or actually weeks, um, the uh, hospital room is now open so we can take a quick look here and see what's inside the hospital room. Okay, so here, um, yeah, thankfully it's uh, finally open after several weeks. So here, uh, actually this is more like the medicine cabinet, but uh, as we can see here, these are the medicines that we have on our, actually uh, medical items that we have here on board our ship. Now this is, of course, it has its own name. Uh, this one's for the oxygen mask. This one's for the split, in case you have some fractures. This is for, uh, from the name itself, something for your bottom or uh, your, uh, you know, urea or something. And we have the GR2 transoplast bandages. I have no idea what is that. We also have Shringer's 4, the suit or alka swabs. The eye and tooth for something on, uh, you know, in case you have ailments on your eyes and your tooth. GR for examination, I don't know what this means, but probably something. Uh, anyway, I'm not a medical guy, so uh, I'll just read it out on what I'm seeing. We have Metaline, we have uh, suspensory bandages, I have no, oh, this is for eye injury, I guess. And uh, we have also this, the, uh, I don't know, GR6, what does that mean? It's mostly plasters, probably. Uh, we also have cleaners here, antiseptics. Um, sorry, it's not exactly uh, well lit here. It's not exactly well lit. Uh, we have Papa Roach. Oh. We even have anti-roaches floor mat here. Yeah, strange. Anyway, uh, this is mostly poison, so uh, we'll just keep a lock on that and not going to, uh, y you know, uh, not gonna intrude on that. We also have, uh, what do you call this? Oh, a fire extinguisher. Yeah, okay. I'm not uh, gonna meddle with that. It's a fire extinguisher, I guess. Here is also uh, okay. So our medical cabinet is locked, but anyway, here's the thing: we have uh, two beds here, like a hospitalized uh, bed. Uh, we also have our own uh, uh, toilet here. So. Um, yeah. Okay, I hope my face wasn't sore with that. And the uh, thing here is we also have our, um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, you know, we have our resuscitator here. Um, Usually, oh god, there's a lot of mirrors here. Okay, uh, we have our own radio, some strep cells, stuff like that. We also have our own uh, weighing scale. So, uh, this is mostly used initially for a helicopter uh, rescue, but uh, I don't know. Uh, we don't have that on my previous ship. Uh, this is for. Um, do not throw away. Probably this one is, uh, you know, first aid, thermal first aids. We also have, uh, I don't know, poison treatment here. Uh, probably in case of suicide, I don't know. Oh, see, catheters, MFG, I have no idea what this medicines are. We have hypodermic needles. Um, uh, I don't know. Mostly, this ones are um, are uh, what do you call this? Um, 
Mostly some of them are, uh, uh, what do you call this, dextrose. So we also have a stretcher there, that's a foldable stretcher, same here. As, uh, uh, okay, so I guess, the, oh okay, I guess the reason why we're a little bit, uh, okay, uh, yeah. Right, so, okay, my bad with that. So here's the thing, I guess this has sufficient light now. So, uh, see, we're seeing tons of medicals here. I've already, uh, of course mentioned that, but I didn't ha I didn't put on the extra light. So, uh, there we go. Uh, what else would I haven't discussed yet here? Oh, uh, we also have an oxygen here. See, as you can see, we have an oxygen tank here already for, uh, you know, in case of emergency, as well as the uh, this one uh, that we used, uh, you know, you usually typically see this in hospitals. So, uh, yeah, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, I'll take a look on the drawer here and see if... Uh, so we have this, uh, mostly splints, uh, GR, uh, I don't know what this one does, uh, mostly surgical, probably surgical uh, scissors or something, not gonna go through running through that. Uh, this one is mostly uh, stethoscopes. and this one is antiseptics, um, some stuff there. And we have a vacuum split set, which is not very good. It's a body bag, actually. Or probably this is. But I'm not going to go through that because it's kind of creepy having a body bag. But we do have that on our ship, just in case of a worst case scenario. We also have several medicines here. Um, I don't know about biasimicin. Maybe it's antiseptic. We, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not familiar with that kind of uh, advanced medicines anyway. <laughs> so uh, there we go, this is the complete, uh, you know, uh, complete tour of our medical uh, clinic here, or our uh, ship's hospital is what we call it. It's not exactly a hospital, it's more like a clinic. So in case of uh, injuries. Oh, one more thing I forgot to uh, tell is we also have a burn kit here in case uh, you know, uh, in case of uh, burns, burn injuries. So anyway, there we go. Um, I guess that's all the thing that I have to say for now. Because, um, yeah, uh, I just, uh, uh, you know, took the time because the hospital uh, door is uh, kind of open while I was cleaning. So, uh, there. Okay, now outside our hospital we have, uh, you know, this science, which is, you know, stored medicine, medical oxygen, resuscitator, stretcher, as well as the, these uh, stretchers here. So uh, usually and typically uh, medical hospitals are near uh, the entrances of the ship because uh, in case of any injury outside or on our working area we could easily bring the patient or any injured person right here uh, on the ship's hospital so it's typically under construction that is always near uh, ship's hospital is always near at the entrance so anyway this is my cleaning uh, stuff I was uh, doing my routine cleaning we also have the medicine locker here, but uh, like I said, this time it's locked, so uh, um, I don't know, maybe it's just uh, they've already put the real medicine there, or they just simply condemned that area. Anyway, uh, I guess that will be all for my blog today, because I've, uh, I just have to uh, take an extra note here, because uh, during my ship's tours uh, a few months back, I did not have the opportunity to, uh, you know, uh, take a look on the um, the ship's hospital because it was locked during that time. So now, since it's open, I, uh, you know, try to uh, take a look on it. So uh, if you like my video, just kind of like and subscribe. Uh, it's not, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, it 
that will do me a big favor. So again, this is the Fairy Archivist. Have a great day, everyone, and uh, see you around on my next uh, blog journal session. Bye-bye for now.